DMAE is a choline molecule and an active compound of an entropy called centropinoxin. Now, many biohackers supplement them because they could potentially enhance cognitive performance. But can they really do that? Well, let's find out. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. If biohacking, nootropics, and optimizing brain performance interest you, then you came to the right place. Today, we are going to talk about two very interesting nootropics, DMAE and centrophenoxin. And we're gonna look at the benefits, side effects, dosages, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you who should consider supplementing them. So if you're ready, let's do that. Now, DMAE is a slightly stimulatory choline molecule that can act as a potent antioxidant in the brain. It is primarily used as a cognitive enhancer in the elderly. Now, on the other hand, centrophenoxin is a pharmaceutical that is better absorbed than DMAE. On the market, it is often sold under the brand name called Lucidril. By the way, have you ever tried centrophenoxin or DMAE? If you did, let me know in the comment section below. So, what are the benefits of these two nootropics? Well, first of all, they can help people with Alzheimer's disease. There is one study that showed if you give people with Alzheimer's disease 1,000 milligrams of DMAE for about 24 weeks, they can expect a mild improvement in their cognitive performance. But sadly, there was no statistical difference between DMAE and a placebo. However, another study where people were given two grams of centrophenoxin for eight weeks showed that supplementing centrophenoxin can improve cognition in people with Alzheimer's disease. Sadly, there are no studies done on healthy individuals. So from that, we can assume that centrophenoxin can help people who have Alzheimer's disease, but probably is not so effective for healthy individuals. Or is it? Well, another benefit that was found in the studies actually showed that supplementing these compounds can increase skin firmness. Yeah, that's something I would need. And that's why these compounds are found in many facial creams. In addition, it can also reverse beta amyloid which is also called age pigmentation. And age pigmentation actually kills the brain cells. And actually researchers believe that age pigmentation is one of the primary causes of Alzheimer's disease. Now, because of those reasons, it is believed that supplementing DMAE or centrophenoxin can be beneficial for people who suffer from Alzheimer's disease. But again, no studies were done on healthy individuals, which is a big problem. Now, what about my experience? Well, honestly, I've tried every single or almost every single entropic on the market but I haven't tried DMAE and I haven't tried centrophenoxin. And there could be only two good reasons for that. The first one is I was too afraid to try them. And the second was I couldn't smuggle them through the border to my country. So which is it? Well, to answer this question, let's look at these side effects. So supplementing those compounds can cause upset stomach, headaches, muscle tension, drowsiness, confusion, irritability, and even increased blood pressure. And very importantly, especially for women, is that they should not supplement DMAE or centrophenoxin uh, if they're trying to conceive because they can cause defects in unborn infants. Because of all of those reasons, plus because of the lack of benefits, I decided not to try these compounds uh, simply because I just don't believe uh, they can do much for healthy individuals like I am. But if you decide to try them, what would be an optimal dosage? By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. So according to research, the typical dosage of DMAE is about 300 to 2000 milligrams per day. But because of the lack of studies, it's hard to say if this is a safe or an optimal dosage. However, when it comes to centrophenoxin, the optimal daily dosage is about 250 milligrams per day, which can be taken up to three times if you are slightly younger and up to six times uh, if you suffer from cognitive decline or in particular, if you have Alzheimer's disease. However, before you decide to supplement these compounds, do consult your doctor, because you definitely wanna be on the safe side and make sure you don't suffer from any unwanted side effects. By the way, do you wanna know how well does your brain perform? Go for a free assessment, link in the description below, and get your brain performance score. So if you decide to try these compounds, where can you get them? Well, actually, you can buy centrophenoxin on many of quality nootropic stores, and if you're interested, I posted a link below in the description so you can just check it out. I trust a couple of stores and you'll find the links below. So who is centrophenoxin for? Who should consider supplementing it? Well, the only group of people that should consider supplementing centrophenoxin or DMAE are people who suffer from cognitive decline 
in particular people who have Alzheimer's disease. But again, if you're one of those, um, you should consult your doctor, um, especially because I think Centrophenoxin is not as effective and it may cause some issues if you combine it with other drugs or nootropics. For other people, especially for healthy individuals, I think uh, DMA and Centrophenoxin are not recommended because they're probably not effective and they can cause adverse side effects. But if you really want to boost your brain performance with nootropics and brain supplements, check out my video up here and learn all about my top rated nootropic supplements. Check it out guys. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.